Well, everyone, Scott Sondalkin, live from Sacramento, California. It is April 17, 2016, 1228 in the afternoon. Perfect day to talk about sales. Now, a question that I get a lot from salespeople and I see a lot on forums is, how do I know when it's time to leave a company, leave an organization, leave whatever's going on, and go look for something different? Now, it could very well be that what you're searching for is because of some of the people that you work with. And it could be because of management. And there's a saying out there that, you may hear or you may have heard people don't quit a company they quit management and there are times where there are toxic managers toxic supervisors and i'm going to go ahead and throw employees you know people that you work with uh, in this group because it could just be the, the whole company in general it could be a cult company culture there's a lot of reasons why people leave companies why they leave a service why they leave a project but that's going to be the biggest thing is the people who are around them the people who surround them can create some issues what are those issues? I don't know. I'm not you. I'm not with you. But whatever's going on in your head, if it's holding you back from making sales, if it's holding you back from closing deals, then why would you not look at doing something different? Okay? There's always options. And remember, if you're a closer, you're not just like some commodity out in the marketplace. You are wanted. You know, you are the prize. If you're a closer, you're the prize. It's just, I mean, that's just plain and simple. And most people don't really understand that. If you are a closer, you're the prize. And so if you're having problems with managers, employees, supervisors, people that you work with, sometimes it's just one of those things where it's better to get up and go. And you know what? You might get some grief from it. You might hear some, some issues from the people that you work with. But at the end of the day, it's, it's your life. You're the one who has to live it, right? You can't live it for other people. And if there's a point where you're having difficulties with people and you're, you're thinking maybe it's time to go, you're probably at that point anyway. And it's not, it's not a bad thing, it's a progression of life. And one of the things that happens is we get nervous because it's like, well, what, are, what is everybody else gonna think, right? At some point, you gotta make the decision to go, you know what, it doesn't matter what everybody else thinks, it matters what I think, and it matters what I have in my bank account, it matters for my life, right? There, there's people that I've met with and dealt with that no matter how much money you gave me, no matter how much money you gave me, I would not ever work with them. Right? And so sometimes there's managers like that. There's sometimes there's people that you work with like that. Sometimes there's supervisors. And if you are a salesperson and you are a closer, you are not a commodity. Okay? So go out, look around, ask some questions. I'm sure someone would love to have you, right? Especially if you're good at what you do, go out and do something different. But take a look and, and see what it is. A lot of times uh, salespeople will just make that instant jump without asking the right questions. Okay? Now. If you could do a small favor for me in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story. That'd be fantastic. To the right, to the left, there's a subscribe button. You know what you got to do. You got to subscribe. And then you can send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Why not even LinkedIn? Scassel Bell. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Aloha.